All right, party people, we're here to save the dry old turkey burger from the sandpit and give it some juicy vibes by creating a patty stuffed with juicy mango. That's right, we're bringing the juice, we're bringing the flavor. So this is the shopping list that you're gonna need. So the first is you're gonna need some turkey mince. Now the delivery man brought me the turkey mince with small amount of fat. I would choose the one that has as much fat as possible because we know turkey has little fat anyway. We're gonna need mango. Now I've got the can because you know fresh mango is here where I live. It's virtually impossible to get them ripe. We're gonna need some cheese. We're gonna need some sage, my favorite herb. Salt and pepper, okay? We're gonna need some oats, okay? We're gonna need some corn flour. We're gonna need some oil because we're gonna be basically adding a bit of fat, okay? And we're gonna be topping this off with a bit of smashed up avocado because that goes really, really well. And of course, you're gonna need your rolls, mate. You're gonna need your British baps, okay? So first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna chop up our mango, okay? It doesn't really matter how you chop this up because you're gonna be mixing it in to a certain extent. But I would suggest if you leave it as chunky as possible, you're more likely to have some of those chunks in. Okay, so you're going to want to throw in as much as possible. Now, I think I've ended up putting in about four or five, but you really, you could have put a lot more, to be perfectly honest. And then you can see we've got our uh, rolled oats. There was about four tablespoons that went in there, and went in there. then one tablespoon of the corn flour. Then we're going to have the sage to bring a little bit of, you know, a herby note and just a savory note. Then we're going to chuck in, you know, a couple of t uh, spoonfuls of cheese. It's going actually in it. We're going to put cheese in when we build it as well. But you put a little bit in. You could put parmesan in if you want that more salty, uh, salty note. But I went for cheddar because, you know, I like a bit of cheddar. Okay, so we've got salt and pepper as well. Okay, so if, as I say, if you, if you went for... a a boatload of parmesan you could probably you know probably live without putting the salt in okay because that would essentially be your seasoning and you can see i've put in the the oil there then we're just going to kind of mix it all together okay until it kind of comes together as one and the mango is dispersed throughout okay so the mango is throughout so this was actually about 500 grams of turkey mince and that's going to make for what we're doing here four, four burgers. So they're roughly like quarter pounders. You could do five. You could do five from this mix if you wanted to. But, you know, I did four because I needed four burgers. So as you can see, I've kind of just squashed them out of my hand. You could do this a bit more skillful if you wanted. And then what I've done is I've just dropped them into a little bit of corn flour. OK, because I want to create a crust now when you do a burger hamburger you stick it in that pan it sears and you get a nice 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 uh you know crispy uh edge right doesn't always work with turkey doesn't always work right so i've put in a little bit of the old uh corn flour this is going to crisp up and it is going to go a little bit burnt because we're going to be cooking it in here for a few minutes but it's not going to affect affect the flavor now i've actually gone for the pan because I wanted to really create uh create a crisp you see that I splashed all that oil all over my clothes and those clothes went in the bin because they were ruined but you know c'est V, right so as I say we created that crust now you could cook it in the air fryer and um it would be just as good to be perfectly honest the following day I did the second two and they were just as good and I didn't splash oil everywhere so you choose what you want now I'm making these with the avocado, which I've just blitzed up to a smooth little uh, puree and then grated cheese because I absolutely love grated cheese in a burger. I prefer it to cheese slices and I actually like it when it's not melted, where it's still got that tangy, mature kind of sharpness. You know, the burger is going to melt it slightly and then you can see we've got the lid that goes on. And whoa, not, not overly big, just the right size nice crisp edge to the burger gonna go down a treat okay so let's see how it tasted 
All right guys, we're back and today we've done the turkey burgers. We've done it a little bit different because we've thrown in the mango. Mango from a can, but that's what we've got. That's what we can get our hands on. But trust me, it makes such a difference. Turkey burgers, historically, they are so dry. It doesn't matter what you do to them, how you cook them, you get a really kind of dry texture okay so we did a few things to try and bring a bit of moisture bring a bit of flavor into it but also give it that crispy outer coating that you get with a lot of good burgers when it caramelizes that often you just can't get with turkey burgers so this is the taste test okay so we've got to taste it so let's just take a look let's squeeze it down you know so I, tr I did the grated cheese because i like to do I like to do grated cheese. I like to do a grated cheese in my burger. I think it, um, it adds another dimension. Can we get that in focus? Now a lot of people will probably be saying, Lee, you've burnt that, right? Because of the outside, this does not taste burnt. It's, it's the cornflour that we put on the outside. That is, you know, technically burnt. But it's also added the, the crust. And this, this is moist. I don't think I can really do it justice. I don't think I can do it justice, man. But I was gonna do this in the air fryer, like I cook most things like this these days, just because of the smells around the house that you're gonna get with putting it in a frying pan, okay? Um, but the last minute I thought, you know what, I really wanna get that crust. It's a success story, okay? I think that putting this in the air fryer would have actually upped the moisture really significantly, right? But because we've got the mango in it, pow. So there we go, another success story. Remember, hit the subscribe button, check the channel out, check out some other videos, I've done some others. I did a hamburger in the air fryer, which was super simple. We've done the classic KFC a number of times. Good luck, we'll see you later.